When we talk about planning, all we have to do is deconstruct the body graph. Now that can sound very simple, but there's a lot of different moving parts and layers. First things first in our cycles of growth is to recognize everybody's at a different age and stage of their life. So the kind of advice I would give to somebody if they're under their Saturn is very different than if they're above their Chiron cycle, you know, below 30, above 50, big difference, especially when you're a sixth line profile. So I'm going to do my best to customize all of my advice specific to you so that you can discover and implement. That's what 21 line three does implement, implement. And here I am with my uh, left facing mind that is loving to sell you on strategies, your career design successfully in your business. So up until this point, for the most part, if you've been taking human design classes with me, you've heard me use the human design language, not so much the business design language. It's slightly different. So in the BG5 career and business language, we have 16 success codes, 16 success codes. Some of this stuff you already know as a human design student of mine. Other things you may not. Now you're going to get a report, a complete advanced report, if you don't already have one from me, that is not a handwritten, it's a computerized report, and it'll have all the keynotes from BG5 in it. So I'll give you all your advanced keynotes, all of the things that my Maya Mechanics advanced software will give to you, including your dream rave, so that we can make sure that we connect with what's most important for you to focus on when it comes to profiting by being yourself. So that's the first step, is discovering yourself individually. Now, this particular experience is about your treasure map. So the treasure map, basically your human design body graph, it shows you what your purpose is, what your shadows are, where your challenges are, how to leverage your talents and gifts, who you are here to work with. If you're a two, hi, I'm a 14, nice to meet you. You know, who are you here to partner with? How does your energy flow best? Especially when it comes to making money, your fears and beliefs, which ones hold you back? What business model is best suited for you if you're contemplating doing this versus that? What is your body graph actually telling us so that you can take into account that information, maybe simmer on it, you know, process it so that you can recognize how you will profit more. Would it be solo partnership, part of a small or a large team? And who do you need to hire or outsource to someone else so that you can profit better just by being yourself and how you can best market yourself and your business. Now, this is usually a, a place where people have a lot of trouble. I'm a one eight. So I'm the one that you come to when you want to hear, how do I attract attention to my business, Lavina? I look at your chart and I go, okay, so this is, this is, this is, this is what I'm seeing. And then you take that and you process it. You're probably going to want to go back to the recordings, just listen to your coaching segment write things down, write down some keynotes, and then process it and rewrite it in your own language, in your own way. I can do only so much, you know, I'm, I'm not the expert of you, you are. So you might like to substitute or swap out different words, a different way that you might explain it because you are a different person. But I'll give you my best go with jumpstarting your business, which is what a gate 14 can do. And I've got two of those to help you with jumpstarting your business so that you can learn what works for you specifically in career and business profitability. So that's where we are right now. That's why I've got this, I've got the target and I've got the little you are here thing in the background to help us know this is what we're going to be working with, discovering your treasure map. I will still take aspects of this area of the body graph, you know, direction or focus, but I'm not gonna give you a complete BG5 16 success codes career design um, analysis that takes three private sessions. Now the first session you guys can skip because you've already been in my professional trainings. So you already know the overview stuff, but the deeper layers, the business skills, the attributes, you know, the way that you're here to be in large business, that's not covered in my foundational human design courses. Okay. And then the third step. Now this is only if you're going to go out and create a large business is 
understanding your alpha one leadership. So there are analysis that we can do in context with other people's designs, those on your team, so that you know your way of communicating with the right person to get the message down the line of your organization. So we're talking about 16 people in your business or more. I will still work in, if you do have an alpha one channel, I will still work in a recognition of how you behave in alignment with regards to the larger groupings because just because you have an alpha one channel doesn't mean that all large groups are for you. But this can be a profound evolutionary leap in the way that you do business and it allows the executive or manager of a large group to be effective and efficient and really focuses on how they can be a respected leader. So that's also going to be incorporated into our coaching if that is applicable to you. Now, there are gears that run a profitable company. How appropriate it is for you to work in a small team and how you're going to turn their, your shadows in that team into success. A small business that is profitable and competitive and successful, and we're talking three to five people, needs to have all of those aspects there. And so I'll show you what aspects you bring to the group and what you need to outsource or hire out. Now, when we talk about the small business, that's where a BG5 consultant comes in. Large business is OC16. And individuals, human design analyst, and also, you know, using the BG5 language, like I mentioned, there's these three distinct aspects of the BG5 career and business human design system. And every single one of them build upon each other. So what we're going to be doing with our analysis time is looking holistically so that you as an individual can benefit from knowing what your strengths are as an individual and in a small business and in a large business. And we're going to incorporate that into your deliverables if you choose to work on them. We'll see how much more time you need to process and simmer and come up with deliverables because I'm not going to force anybody. Hey, this is the last, you know, you got to bring it next week. Here's our last class and, you know, have all your stuff together and I'll never look at it again. I'm, I'd be happy to look at your marketing with you. I don't want to write it for you. I'm happy to speak it about it. But as far as writing it, it would take me way too long. And I feel like it's more empowering if you using your human design knowledge would do it for yourself. And you'll notice, I'm a third line, so this is my process anyway, it goes through iterations as you go deeper and deeper into your deconditioning process. And you learn more and more about what you do like and what you don't like and what is your joy and what isn't your joy and the stuff that you love and the stuff that you don't. If you're a third line like me, you're going to experiment with a lot of that. So those individual success codes, when we look at the individual, it also takes a look at not only the small group, but the large group. Again, we're looking at profit potential. So it's the business of being yourself that we're going to focus on in the coaching. Not an individual analysis, but a group analysis. What I've noticed is that profit that is fulfilling comes with the right amount of challenge. That's my case anyway. I'm a third line. I like a good challenge. I like rising to the occasion. I'm a 28. I like, you know, finding the purpose, a higher purpose, a higher calling in life. And when you love what you are doing and it's right for your design, then the money starts to flow. If you're banging your head trying to do all the things or not leveraging your team or not focusing enough on the stuff that really lights you up, you're not going to be an expert at that thing. You know, it has to come in alignment with what's congruent about your design. So that's what we're going to be working on. Now, in the profit potential analysis, what it does is it synthesizes the wisdom potentials, especially of your design along with your strengths, along with your public role, which is the profile, along with your life work, your incarnation cross. And what it does is it gives you a clear view of how you can best profit and offer your product or service in alignment with your design. And it's for others in the most correct and authentic way possible. So that's what we're going to be really focusing on is, is this specific aspect. So this treasure map, you can see here we've got um, some bar graphs and some information that is just basically taking the design and distilling it down into different components that helps us see the traits that we use for profit and your general profit potential selling themes. And we're going to focus on the, the most highly leveraged activity or profit potential selling themes that you could use 
in order to use the traits that are there in your design, your life aspects, so that you are in congruency with what you're here to not only learn, but also give to other people.